What's up everybody? Welcome back to Mohawk Motors. My name is Jason. So I'm at the junkyard. I need to remove these power seats, but like any junkyard, there's no battery in the truck. So how do you move the power seats in a Chevy or GMC in order to access the bolts at the back and the bolts at the front that hold it in? Well, let me show you. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. So the power seats are fed by a harness, comes out of the floor. And we need to get that harness cut off from the truck. That's step one. Now you're also gonna need some kind of battery for your battery powered drill or impact or whatever it is that you have, right? And then we need to get a little bit of wire stripped off of here. So we strip a little wire. Now there's two main, there's a main power feed, which is almost always the orange wire on the GMs and a main ground, which is almost always the largest black wire in that little connector. So you take those and get them connected to your battery. And which, which terminal to hook it to is gonna vary depending on which type of battery you're using. And then if the seat works, you can move it. Ta-da! So I'll get these fronts undone, I'll move it forward, get the rears undone, which is gonna let me get the seat out, which is gonna let me get the center console that I want. I hear people all the time, they're looking for seats, they're looking for seats, but they can't get them from the junkyard because they don't have batteries in them. You don't need that battery. Bring yourself your little cordless battery power drill. Even a nine volt battery will work. A nine volt battery will supply you with enough power to move the seat back and move the seat forward to get it unbolted. Ta-da! There you go, seat removed. Pretty easy, great little hack. If you're coming to the junkyard and looking for some seats, you need some wire strippers, a battery for some kind of cordless tool, or even just a nine volt battery, a brand new one. These fronts, I use a 15 millimeter six point impact socket to remove. The rears, you use an E14 bit to remove. Zip them out of there, bing, bang, boom, you got seats. Nice bonus about pulling seats out of the way. There's almost always some money under there. free money all right so same thing on the passenger side guys you know the big orange wire that goes into the under the carpet or floor mat whatever it may be that's your positive the big black that's your negative i have dewalt cordless tools which their batteries are labeled battery positive battery negative see if this one moves Boop. Easy peasy, team. Get all the junkyard seats you want now. Never worry about it again. And in my experience, all the GM vehicles that I've worked on, which is trucks, SUVs, the GM T360, uh, all of them use the same color coding. The big orange is the main power supply to the seat. The big black is the main ground. So I'll get this one out and uh, celebrate my victory. I found like $3 worth of change under the driver's side seat. There you go, everybody. Nothing to it. Bring your little cordless tool battery. Find that orange and black wire and the seat harness coming out of the floor. Hook them up to your positive and negative, 
power seats work again, you can get those seats right out. I hope this helps a lot. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video, everybody.